guys, what is up? Today I have some Call of Duty 4 Domination on wet work. I'll be using the P90 silenced with the M1911 secondary with bomb squad, stubborn power, and dead silence. And this will be a little different commentary than my usual. It's I'm going to call this analyzing my gameplay. And what I mean by that is I'm going to try to go into my gameplay as in-depth as possible and tell you why and wh what and why I did and the reason behind it. <coughs> so, the first decision was what class to choose and seeing as how wet works is usually dominated by people who can't spawn with their snipers, I chose a P90 because a P90 with dead silence on my head to flank around and kill those snipers because I am a very aggressive player and the guy tries to drop shot me which in Call of Duty is a great tactic but if you're playing Battlefield Halo yeah it's not that great uh, right here I see a guy who has set up claymores and I see him right there so I wasn't able to trigger his claymore and I get the kill and I get dropped. That's okay, I got my airstrike. And we have yet to cap B, so I'm going to hop on B and try to cap it while the airstrike is up. And I have a teammate here who's trying to help, so we get B. And that's the last time I'll see that flag or try to cap it again. Right there I go and P90 snap that guy. Pretty far around the corner because I saw a red dot on the radar, but having rarely played this map I I get shit on by a truck yeah that's that's nice but uh, right here you see me moving up and the reason why I'm moving up is because that they they'll spawn up there and this is why you shouldn't revenge kill because you'll see me go after this guy like three times before I actually get him and he just keeps killing me of course he's using the MP5 and people people will complain about everything but MP5 stopped power two shots GG notary uh, but here you see that I noticed that he got cleared out so I'm just gonna make my way up it oh no no getting shit on today and pay attention to your UAV as it's a very very nice asset it shows you where your teammates are and if you have UAV up it shows you where your enemies are which is always nice to know am I right? but uh... I will do this for every game not just COD 4 or, or not just COD 4 but I will do it for Modern Warfare 2, World at War and Battlefield once I record some uh, this whole little idea came from a friend who said he's not good at shooters and I said I could give him some tips so I thought hey why not just give my whole scrapper base some tips and make this little series and whatnot. and I see a guy go up the steps and since I have bomb squad I know where his claymore is and I know that red dot that was behind me was him so I just went ahead and shot that guy and it's nice to know how many levels are on a map and where you are just because if you don't know your maps you will end up getting effed in the A and right here we're trying to get this claymore but I have an airstrike up and I didn't want to run out and get squashed by my own airstrike so and I get shotgun in the back my teammate does absolutely nothing to help and if you get a chopper, wait and call it in until your next life. Uh, it may be old news, but some people who haven't played the game don't know this, but your helicopter will build to a new kill streak. So, and here I see they're capping something, one another, so I'll just fall back and pick the guy off. But, pretty much wet work. This is, eh. I won't say a basic rundown because 
I never really played wet work that much, to be quite honest, and pretty much if you're going to spawn camp them, A or C, let them have one. Uh, C, either way, both spawns will be overrun by spawn camping snipers, which those are fun, right? Right. And they're especially fun if you play back company too, where if you play a lot of rush, most of your team will be snipers. Also, another tip, it's a cheese tactic, but free pre-firing is a great tactic for one, because if you know an enemy's there, you could just fire around the corner and just pick them off, because it kills so quick. And here I tried to get a montage clip, but failed because I had to reload. I could have probably pulled out my pistol and got that second guy, but who knows. And I'm just waiting to push up because my airstrike's in. And I get a nice little triple there. And I see, if you see a grenade indicator, just fall back. And if you see a guy, fall back as well because he may just be stupid enough to follow you. And if you ever see a guy, if you ever see a guy but you don't get him, don't chase him because odds are he will get the better position on you and end up killing you. And you never want that to happen. You want to keep your deaths a minimum amount, which it's kind of obvious, but hey, it always works. Because if you play Domination or any objective game, deaths hurt your, deaths hurt your team no matter what. If it's Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4 or World at War, people can still get kill streaks, which will hurt your team in the long run. Also, another useful tip is to burst fire your gun at long ranges to consume ammo. To uh, save ammo, sorry. Because if you're not running Bandolier or say you're playing Battlefield and you're not running your extra ammo, you you want to save that ammo and you see me here I'm just spawn camping in their spawn which kinda sounds a bit redundant but I get my airstrike I'm gonna call it in on my position because they're spawning around me and hey why not right right and I get a kill from my chopper so and almost get crushed by it and if you have an airstrike up be sure to wait it out because if you don't and you run out, you will get plastered by it. But uh, I'm low on ammo here, so I pull out my handgun. Heard the guy come around the corner, but the knife is all powerful in Call of Duty, am I right? Especially in World of War, where you can't lunge 50 feet. But uh, if you want to win more close quarter situations on Call of Duty, Resort to your knife or go tactical so you can drop shot if you're not much of a knife person like myself. But hey, it pays to be quick, am I right? And here you see me fell again. But uh, yeah, pretty much this game was quite well. Considering how the round before this I had gotten the shitty team, the shitty end of the pickings and... I have to say, I was pretty fucking frustrated. Uh, I was the only one who went positive, and hey, it, it happened, so. Uh, Live to fight another day, right? Right. That game is winding down. My closing comments for this map is to either run with a silenced SMG if they are camping to spawn with snipers, or you can go assault and just camp middle map and pick them off as a spawn. Either tactic works, just the second tactic works better if they are not sniping. So leave me some feedback if you like this idea. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. I'll have more of this content. So yeah, peace out.